evening and welcome to Henry County Schools Family Connect. I'm Monica Hatchett. I'm excited this evening to have a wealth of information for you and the lady who I have with me to share that is one of our college guides. If you'll just introduce yourself. That's a bunch of deals here at GR Chevrolet. College guide. Sure. Uh, my name is Allie Clement. I'm the college advisor, college guide at Bassett High School. Um, as the college advisor, I um, really just help every senior find a post-secondary plan before they graduate. Um, whether that be a two-year school, a four-year school, trade school, or the workforce, I try to match them with whatever they're looking for um, over the course of their senior year. And our other local high schools have counterparts who do the same thing you do at Magna Vista. It's Mr. Goins, yes. who is actually on a trip today with yeah. students, which is one of the things our college advisors or college guides do is to take students on trips to visit college campuses. Right. Tell me a little bit about how you coordinate that process mm -hmm. for students. Right. Um, I actually partner with Reynolds Homestead to take a 13-passenger charter bus um, to any college campus I want to go, and I kind of uh, choose our colleges based on the interest of the students. So actually, we will be going to Roanoke College on Wednesday with a group of 13 juniors. Um, and I have several more planned this year with Virginia Tech, Radford, Longwood, and JMU. Um, I do limit these trips to juniors just so that they can get their feet on a college campus and start thinking a little earlier about their college options. But this is a great opportunity for juniors and I encourage all grade levels to try to do this no matter where they are in the college going process. It's a, touring schools is a great way to um, think early and get a feel for what you're looking for. And as community members and parents, we hear students talk a lot about applying to five and six and maybe even more yeah. schools than that. But one of the things that's important to remember is you've got to know that you can live there. So these tours are a huge benefit for students right. as they begin that application process because applying is expensive. It is. Yes. Um, applications go anywhere from 25 to $85. Um, there are a lot of fee waiver opportunities that students don't always know about. So as the college advisor, I try to inform our students about those as well. Um, and you made a great point about um, ne needing to realize if you would be happy there and if you would want to live there. Um, and a lot of our students don't want to go super far and that's fine because we have a lot of great schools right here in this area. Um, but looking at that college campus and seeing if you want to be on a bigger college campus with a large football presence or a small private school that has a lot of club opportunities and research opportunities or you know just doing that personal research because if you've never been and stepped on that college campus you need to just to kind of see what you are looking for because you might not know until you do things like that. And in addition to that type of preparation, you do so many other things in the course of a school day or in the yeah. course of a school year to help students and more importantly, their families navigate this whole college process from applications and scholarships to the dreaded FAFSA, <laughs> which a lot of people are talking yeah. about because it's time to do that again. Tell me a little bit about the things that you do on a regular basis with students sure. and their families. Sure, so on a regular basis, my day-to-day -day job is just meeting one-on-one -on -one with students. Um, and that's, I just call them out of class or if they wanna meet with me, they don't need an appointment. Um, and we discuss their plans and what they're looking at doing. We talk about the SAT and ACT. We talk about the colleges they're gonna apply to and maybe add to that list or um, find better matches and fits for what they're looking for. We'll also explore um, career options. So if they say they wanna be a nurse, we talk about BSN versus RSN. Um, so yeah, I do a lot on the day-to-day -day basis, just one-on-one -on -one in my office. Um, but outside of that, the um, planning college trips, planning SAT and ACT prep, um, planning college rep visits. And these are, um, I'm gonna speak a little bit about those. Um, college representatives from all over the state and some from out of state will visit Bassett High School during the school day. So this is awesome for students who cannot get on a college campus. Um, they visit for about 30 to 45 minutes. During school, students just have to sign up with me to attend these and they can sit and ask questions and get handouts and just get a lot more information than they can from searching a college website. So I, those are one big thing that I organize and we have a lot of upcoming schools and I'll go ahead and list those if you don't mind. Sure. Um, we have Lynchburg College coming, Hollins University, Averett University, 
University of Virginia, New College Institute, Bluefield College, Lincoln Tech, and Radford University. And I do expect many more to schedule with me throughout the year. And that's exciting, like you said, for students who want more information. One of the things families have the opportunity to do throughout the course of the year is to participate in College Night, which was right. recently held. And our students can explore some of those options on a more surface level when they get to meet those representatives. But then when they come into the school, it's much more intensive because they have that one-on-one -on -one time. Right. Then the college visit also helps. So talk a little bit about college applications and what students need to be doing right now. If I have a senior yeah. <laughs> at home tonight, what should we be doing? Right. Um, first of all, college applications. Um, that would entail researching schools that you're going to apply to, finding out if they have the program you're interested in, looking at the application requirements. So if it requires an essay, um, SAT, ACT scores, if you're able to be test optional. Um, they should also be researching scholarships that are specific to that school. So if they're interested in JMU, for example, um, if you just go to their financial aid website, you can see a list of um, scholarships that just yet JMU students can qualify for. Um, so that's something that I really try to encourage my students to do early is not only have a list of schools, but know what that list um, is going to require of you and know um, scholarships that are available. Um, then on that second note, FAFSA. Um, that's something, it opened up yesterday, the 2018-2019 application, and that's what our class of 2018 will be completing because that will be their school year. Um, the application became available yesterday, and so right now, if you have a senior, that's what you should be doing. Um, create your FSAID at fsaid.ed.gov. And then go to FAFSA.gov to start that application. Um, this is your primary financial aid application. Um, and it's going to be your primary way to pay for college with loans, scholarships, need-based scholarships, and merit-based scholarships. Now, you're also doing things to help students who are preparing for testing, that important SAT, ACT, yes. all of those things that are coming up. When we come back from the break, I'd like to hear more about the dates for those and what we need to do to help support our students prepare. Be sure to come back after the break so that we can learn about SAT preparation and how to support our students. When it comes to something as important as your home's electrical work, call on your friends at Shively Electric Company. We're proud to have been serving this community for over 40 years. We're the people that you greet at the grocery store, we're the people that you worship with at church, and then we're the people that have fun at local community events. We've been here with you from day one. We'll be here with you when you need us. So for all of your electrical needs, call on your friends at Shively Electric Company. Hearing healthcare has changed forever. Life as you know it will never be the same. An all new approach will let you hear 30% better in difficult environments with all new patented technologies working in harmony with your brain. This new technology has created less effort, more recall, and a better ability to understand in difficult environments. This truly changes everything. Call us today for more information on these new technologies. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Come on down to Los Nortenos, right next to the Dutch Inn. Great food, great prices, and you're always guaranteed to have a good time. So come on down to Los Nortenos, next to the Dutch Inn. There are many reasons to choose Monroe Muffler Brake and Service for all of your car's maintenance, repair, and tire needs. We work on your schedule with convenient evening, Saturday, and even Sunday hours. We've earned our customers' trust with over 50 years of guaranteed quality service. And one more popular reason is Monroe's oil change and more for only $19.99. Plus, we'll rotate your tires, check tire pressure, and inspect your brakes for free. Trust Monroe to keep your car and your family safe. For dealer quality service for less, it's Monroe Muffler Brake and Service. Hi, my name is Ronald Bennett. Hi, I'm Jordan Bailey. Hello, my name is Stan Leggis. And welcome, welcome to, to Family, Family Pharmacy. Pharmacy. 
We're located on 58 West outside of Danville at the Broswell Station. Over the past three years, I'd like to thank you for your business and your support. And in the next years to come, we we'll look forward to helping you and serving you in the future. Please stop by and let us take care of all your pharmacy needs, or you can give us a call at 434-685-1509. Hi, I'm Paul Ford, owner of Quick Lube. We are a full service preventive maintenance and automotive repair facility. We perform high quality guaranteed services you can trust. We repair domestic and foreign vehicles and are your best choice for scheduled maintenance of your car, SUV, truck, and fleet vehicles. Quick Lube, serving you in two locations, Ridgeway and Martinsville. Remember, Quick Lube is more than just an oil change. Like us on Facebook or visit us at quicklubeva.com. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're learning all there is to know about college admissions processes and the things that we can take advantage of as families at each of our high schools. Allie Clement is sharing with us about the college application process, the important dates related to college applications for seniors, but not just seniors. Our juniors, sophomores, and freshmen should be on alert right now. They should be doing specific things. In addition to the SAT prep courses that you mm -hmm. offer, what are some important things of note for families of students who aren't quite seniors yet? Right. Um, that's a great question and uh, students can start preparing as early as ninth grade um, earlier if they feel the need to. Um, things that our students should be looking at are schools of interest, um, touring any schools they can get on campus um, at, as well as thinking about the SAT and ACT, especially their junior year. Um, so to talk a little bit about those first two notes, um, researching schools, we have a lot of great online resources beyond just typing in vt.edu. Um, Big Future, College Greenlight, um, these are great resources for students to compare what schools have to offer. And this will tell you, give you a breakdown of programs they have, SAT and ACT averages, GPA averages, and this is an awesome resource for our underclassmen and juniors. Um, and in terms of touring schools, we already talked a little bit about that, but I also tell any students, um, when you're traveling over the summer with your family or if you're road tripping somewhere, just stop on the nearest college campus. You don't have to have an appointment. You can just be there and walk around and see the students around, because even during the summer, there are students on a college campus. So that's my... Um, biggest piece of advice to our underclassmen, even at the age of ninth grade or even below, go ahead and look at college campuses to get an idea of what you're looking for. And then to speak a little bit about the SAT and ACT. Um, our sophomores in Henry County will take the PSAT, um, which is the Practice SAT. Um, this test is a great preparer for students to kind of get an idea of, one, what a time test is like and two, where they might stand when it's time to take the real SAT. Um, I don't want students to put a lot of pressure on this, especially their sophomore year, but it's a great um, tool for us to use as well as them to gauge where they're at. Um, and then as juniors, students should be thinking about their SAT and ACT early their junior year. I definitely recommend that our juniors take it the second semester, the spring semester, and there are March and April um, dates for both tests and that's an ideal test date for the juniors however they should definitely start thinking about the tests as early as now september um, and as you mentioned i do teach an sat prep class and this wednesday um, october 4th will be my last session um, we'll do a review session we'll talk about the timing and things of that nature but that doesn't mean that's the only way for them to prepare i will most likely be doing another one next semester for our juniors as well as there's tons of online resources for them. One great one, and it's made by the SAT, is Khan Academy, and it's spelled K-H-A-N Academy. This is a free resource for our seniors, or our students to use. They can also add me as their coach. There's a code on my Twitter account for them to just type in, and then I can monitor their progress and send them assignments. Um, another way to prepare is just looking up SAT practice tests and Googling those, printing them out. Um, and as I mentioned, one of the biggest things that's a huge difference for our students is the timing. So 
Though they may know the information and this testing style, they need to work on timing themselves for a test. And that's hard because most of the tests they take are untimed right. tests. Um, now you mentioned your Twitter account and I will say as a follower of your Twitter <laughs> account, parents there is a wealth of information there. If you are on Twitter, you need to follow BHS Goes to College. There are regular updates, sharing of information, resources that students can use, that parents can use. Right. Students can use this venue to ask questions of mm -hmm. you, so families can do that as well. That's a great way for us to connect with you, even if we can't right. be in your building. And that's open to anyone in the community right. who has a question as well. Um, so our juniors need to be thinking about SAT and ACT. Our Correct. seniors are working on those applications. Everyone's visiting colleges and getting information about where they want to go, what they want to do. Mm -hmm. When they go to complete these applications, scholarship applications, college applications, if it says something like the essay is optional, what are your <laughs> thoughts on that? Is it really optional? My thoughts are nothing's optional when it comes to the college application process. Several colleges um, will give an optional essay on their application, and it is completely optional. It's not a trick. It's not them saying, if the student doesn't do it, we're not going to let them in. Um, but it's giving the student an opportunity to give this college more information about themselves beyond their grades and transcripts and beta and National Honor Society, which are all awesome things and our students are highly involved, but talk a little more about that. Tell me more about who you are and your background and that's the purpose of this essay. Um, especially when it says essay optional. They will also sometimes call this an optional personal statement. And I definitely encourage our students who have special circumstances that maybe be, may have been out of their control to use this opportunity to talk about, hey, my grades went down a little bit my sophomore year and this is why, but you can see an upward trajectory since then. Um, this is where you could use that um, optional essay. But in short, nothing is optional, especially when it comes to the college application process and the scholarship process. Um, scholarship applications are looking less at grades and more at your story and your plan. Um, and my general advice to any student working on scholarships, um, no matter your grade level, is to prepare a resume and to write a, sm a short essay, no more than 500 to 600 words, about your educational goals, what you want to be, where you want to do it, and where you see yourself in a few years. So that's pretty simple for a lot of students, but really refining something like that can be used for college applications, scholarship applications, and many other things in the future, like a cover letter. When we come back from the break, we're going to hear some final thoughts on what we need to be doing to prepare our students for the after high school experience. For many of them it's college, but other options as well. Please come back. We've got some monster deals here at GR Chevrolet. A 2012 Malibu, only 156 a month, zero down. 2016 Impala, 197 a month with zero down. 2015 Silverado Z71, one owner, 365 a month, zero down. Come test drive any new or used truck here at GR Chevrolet. Get you a t-shirt or a hat. Come see us at GR Chevrolet. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. My family and I and our staff would like to say thank you for the last 20 years of being able to serve you. If you're having any back problems, neck problems, headaches, we'd like to help you. I'm here Monday through Friday to serve you. Give our office a call. 632-3334. If you're ready to stop the pain, call Hill Chiropractic Center, 1141 Memorial Boulevard. I'm Danae Thompson, a pharmacist here at Chatham Family Pharmacy, where we have a full range of prescription and non-prescription products, nationally certified pharmacy technicians, and can offer you friendly service with a minimal weight and the lowest prices in the area. We offer compliance packaging, free delivery up to 10 miles, and are conveniently located on Highway 29 in Tight Squeeze Plaza. So stop by and find out how we can help you and your family be healthy at Chatham Family Pharmacy. 
Bingo! Family fun for everyone. Fontaine Brewerton Bingo every Tuesday night. Win cash prizes. Doors open at 5.30. Games start at 7. Visit Fontaine Brewerton Club online or on social media for updates, prize amounts, and more. Proceeds benefit our community, scholarships, and local school children. Fontaine Brewerton Club, 1903 Joseph Martin Highway, Martinsville. Clarence's Steakhouse is more than just a steakhouse. We have breakfast, lunch specials seven days a week with dine-in and carry-out orders. We have served our community for over 45 years and we treat every customer just like family. So whether you want a fresh cut steak or all you can eat fish every Friday night at Clarence's, just stop by and be part of the Clarence's family. Clarence's Steakhouse is located at 6636 Greensboro Road in Ridgeway. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're celebrating the opening of FAFSA season yes. by talking with Ms. Clement from Bassett High School. College guides, college advisors have a big job this time of year. You're helping students prepare for testing, you're helping yes. students complete college applications, mm -hmm. you're helping students begin the FAFSA and working with their families in order to do that. What are some final thoughts, important things that families need to remember this time of year when it's so busy and they're getting ready their student to graduate and go away to college? Some final thoughts. Um, Pay attention to deadlines, number one. Our seniors need to be very aware that there are application deadlines as well as priority FAFSA filing deadlines. Um, something to kind of mention at this moment, November 1st through November 15th, or through December 15th, are early action and early decision deadlines approaching for a lot of our Virginia schools. So if students are looking to apply early, that time's approaching very quickly. Um, secondly, I would like to mention that do not do the FAFSA alone. Um, in the wise words of Sammy Red, always get help from someone. Um, I will have a FAFSA completion event on October 19th from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at Bassett High School. This is open to families, students, and if you are a Magna Vista student and can't make it to their completion event, please come to mine. There will be plenty of resources there, computers, as well as on-site help from multiple people. Um, and lastly, I would also like to mention our um, Virginia College Application Week, which is coming up November 13th through 17th. This week is going to be our, um, a huge event for all of our seniors in, at Bassett High School, as well as Magna Vista. Um, this will provide fee waivers for a lot of Virginia schools. These are schools that do not usually provide fee waivers and can cost upwards from $50 to $70. Um, this week specifically, um, certain schools will participate and it's not guaranteed that they will be the same schools that participated last year, but I will have an updated list about the week before. So students who are starting their applications now and do not have an upcoming deadline, definitely mark those days on your calendar to kind of um, get prepared ahead of time, but then think maybe I'll be able to save 50 bucks during this week. And that's huge. Do you right. have to do anything in particular to qualify for the fee waivers? Not necessarily. Certain schools, yes, but because of this week, and it's offered to Bassett High School students because we do have over 50% free and reduced lunch. Um, so even if you do not qualify for free and reduced lunch, this week is available to you, which is great. That's exciting for a lot of families, a big savings. Now, you also have some other important dates coming up related to SATs, ACTs. Is there a particular deadline by which you recommend completing the FAFSA? What are the dates we need to know? Sure, yes. To complete the FAFSA, I 100% recommend that all of our students do so by December 1st, 2017. The application is available to you until March 1st, 2018, and students that plan to go to community college are more than welcome to wait until that date, but I've set a personal deadline to our students to do it by December 1st, especially, especially for schools like Radford, um, who has moved up their deadline significantly in the last couple years. If you miss it, even by December 2nd, um, 
there's no except there's no extra financial aid for you so I cannot stress enough the importance of meeting a December 1st deadline not just for Radford but just for personal reasons to make sure that once you file that FAFSA these schools do not need additional information from you because most of the time they do most of the time they do want additional documents proving that this is what your family made in 2016 and an additional note to that is that all um, the FAFSA cycle year for 2018 through 2019 will use the 2016 tax information this is a change from the previous two years and it is not going to be updated with 2017 information it stays with 2016 and then SAT and ACT. Um, our upcoming SAT is October 7th, so we have over 50 students signed up to take that at Bassett, and I fully expect everyone to be there by 745. <laughs> um, but then other dates coming up are November 4th, and the registration deadline being October 6th for that SAT, and December 9th, with the registration deadline being November 3rd for the ACT. And you recommend those for seniors or juniors as well? Seniors mostly. Okay. Our juniors will be looking at it next semester um, to take both the SAT and ACT their junior year and then retake whichever one they felt more comfortable with so that they can get that best combined score for their college applications. All right, and probably of most importance to parents who are listening, grandparents who are listening, if we didn't get all of these notes taken down, um, who do they contact? How do they ask questions? Feel free to contact me. Um, my email, aclement at henry, <coughs> excuse me, dot k12.va.us. And as you mentioned, I am very responsive on Twitter. And if you follow me on Twitter, at BHS goes to the number two, college, um, you can message me personally and we can talk about it there as well. Um, feel free to call, make an appointment with me as well. And you can also send a message to Ms. Clement or Mr. Goins, our college advisor at Magna Vista, through Let's Talk on either of the high school's websites or on our school division webpage. Just in closing, a final reminder, Magna Vista and Bassett face off this Friday night. So in Henry County, we are a house divided. <laughs> we have two teams that we feel very passionately about. We invite you to join us at Bassett High School on Friday evening. This evening will be their pink game and both teams will be wearing pink and supporting breast cancer research by doing that. They encourage community members who attend Friday night's game to wear pink as well and show your support for a very important cause. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again next week. Your face tells a story, one that is uniquely yours. Our desire is to help you recapture your natural beauty. I'm board certified through the Academy of Aesthetic Medicine and specialize in the treatment of wrinkles, facial sagging, uneven skin tone, dark spots, acne, and other scars. For our clients, we create an exclusive treatment plan using non-surgical cosmetic procedures and medical strength skin care to help you to age gracefully and to look and feel your personal best. And that means game-changing savings at Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. Score the biggest savings of the year on all 2017 models. Right now, drive home in a new 2017 Nissan Rogue and save up to $6,000 off. Or score up to $12,000 off on a new 2017 Nissan Titan. Get top dollar for your trade and our exclusive warranty forever on all our vehicles. Plus game-changing savings. Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com. Piedmont Youth Soccer League Fall 2017 registration is now underway. PYSL Rec Soccer is open to any children ages 3 to 18. The registration deadline is August 15th, then games begin on September 9th with the season ending October 28th. 
You can register online at pyslsoccer.net or call the Smith River Sports Complex at 276-638-5200. Also, be sure to find the Piedmont Youth Soccer League on Facebook for updates about on-site registration dates and times. Sign up today and join the largest youth sports league in Martinsville, Henry County. Front of our eyes. Get up, get up, do something, MHC on the rise. Think of two. Martinsville and Henry County. Welcome to MHC on the Rise, where it's our goal to create positive conversation and find solutions to the issues that impact Martinsville and Henry County. And I have two ladies here with me tonight that I guess in a dual role, they're looking for solutions to uh, impact Martinsville and Henry County, one through their careers and two through their uh, social organizations. And I'm going to let you all introduce yourself and then we'll just get started with our conversation. We'll start here. My name is Brunel Thomas, and I am a member of Martinsville Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I am Joy Staples, also a member of the Martinsville Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Awesome. And we're happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And glad, you know, to have you all here. Appreciate you all coming on. And, you know, of course, I know some about Delta Sigma Theta, mm -hmm. but I want you all to give us a little history of Delta Sigma Theta. And then we're going to talk about, you know, your role and Delta's role in the Martinsville Henry County area. Okay. Well, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority was founded in Jan on January 13, 1913 at Howard University by 22 college educated women who thought that they wanted to change their surroundings and they wanted to make an impact on the college community and since that time Delta Sigma Theta has over 200,000 members in over 1,000 chapters across the United States and abroad. What most folks may remember about uh, our 22 founders is probably their involvement in women's suffrage and trying to make an impact on women's rights. Mm -hmm. um, and for many of our chapter members, uh, it was for Joyce and I who had the privilege of attending our most recent national convention mm -hmm. out in Las Vegas. It's always recharging to me <laughs> yes. um, to go and meet new SARS from all around the country, Bermuda. I met my first SAR from Japan. Oh, wow. um, but we're international. Mm -hmm. And um, what we have in, in, in common is the desire to do good in the community, mm -hmm. whether it's through um, uplifting, through education, through economic development, political awareness. Deltas are known for getting the vote out and helping Absolutely. candidates get folks to the polls. Um, and we're also known for being involved in, in the school system. Mm -hmm. Many of our SARAs are former educators or current educators. And um, so, so we're all over the place. Oh, yeah. Uh, trying to international mm -hmm. awareness. Um, and I'm missing one, Joyce. Okay. Physical and mental Economic health. development. Yep, okay. That one. Okay. Yeah, there and you I'm go. gonna get you all in trouble later. I'm gonna get you to name some folks. You know, so, but I'll give you a chance to think on that because I'm gonna get you in trouble because somebody's gonna fuss at you. But I've seen Delta in the news lately. Some of the national, 